So I had to stop some stuff that I was doing earlier. As you could tell, or if you couldn't figure it out, I'm moving. This is the last video you will see me do here. In this place here where I'm going is much more lit, much more uh, uh, better in other areas. Definitely natural light, a lot of natural light. Even what I think it, when it's covered or when it would be covered, a lot of natural light will come in. So I have a lot of room to play with. With the light and here i'm always kind of fighting to get natural light and stuff like that but anyway i had to stop because i had some issues with the syncing of the audio and the video for some reason it was jumping and it was going to take me years to kind of put into sync and i didn't really want to be bothered with that so i did it over the next day and my whole intent in the process of doing some things that i was doing i was using some of this this camera here to capture some of the things that I was capturing, right? Packing up, try to do a time lapse. I was gonna do a time lapse, but I changed my mind. And um, the whole trick with this thing is, even though it looks like it's pretty current as far as some of the cameras that are out today, this is pretty old. Um, not the oldest thing in the bunch. It's not like 30 years or anything like that, but it is up there in age. I'm gonna say about eight to 10 years old. Um, this is Nikon's first DSLR, so of course the improvements have been made tremendously between Canon and Nikon and all the other ones that are out there. I had my hands on a Fuji uh, once and um, not so much a DSLR, but it did have video capability, but the audio and the sync on that thing was horrible. Automatically it was just horrible. But this is far better than that one. The thing is with this camera is it doesn't have um, a mic port. So you can't connect the mic to it. And um, so I can't have a rig on here. I can't put a, a mic on here and then um, maybe some headphones, you know, so I can hear myself if I felt that I need to hear myself. Uh, I can't do that super up to date fancy stuff. But it's not about what you could do what you see others do with the cameras that you may have in your arsenal. It's how to use what you have the best way possible. I could take pictures with it. I have taken pictures with it. Pictures come out pretty decent. Some Lightroom touch up. Um, but for the most part, the pictures come out pretty good. Video, 720 is the um, max resolution. Um, I think there's a hack where it could go up higher, uh, but I'm not too sure. I didn't play with the hack because I wasn't really into trying the hack and then it wouldn't have worked or, or something like that. Uh, your your other downfall is your time of filming. It's only gonna film at five minutes in increments and that drives me bananas. So if I'm trying to do anything vlog style, I only have five minutes each time and that's not enough. Uh, I've worked with the Canon ADD and that has uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes of time to record. That's awesome, that's excellent, that's more than enough time. With this, I would have to be checking every five minutes to see if I ran out of time and I could have been talking for 10. And that's not good when you're trying to do anything vlog style. Uh, I can't see, so there's no flip. As you can see, it's, it's all built in. Um, so I can't see myself, and maybe if I was able to get a mount to like a view screen uh, to, to view myself, that might be possible, but I'm still kind of stuck with the time. So I'm supposed to be getting a new kind of 
fake me out uh gopro camera uh coming soon when i move i'll get that and then i'll play with that and see how that's like and i'll tell you guys what i think of it and if it's worth your dollar or two um but when i get that we'll get into that um but this is still not the worst piece of toolery in the world it's a matter of trying to capture what you could capture how you could capture it the best way you can with what you have the one thing that i think most people tend to forget that it's the most required is can people see you now right now i'm using my my webcam i'm sure if i was probably in the most best light situation i think what i would get back would be a lot better but i'm always fighting with the light i'm not going to set up lighting rigs and stuff like that and have things bounce and stuff like that i don't think it's really that serious i think a better camera will definitely help in that in that in that area and hopefully with this little thing thingamajig that i get it might work or just get a new camera and i intend to uh this is not the only one that i have uh i have another one that i use for mostly um, for more serious film projects, but that's a little too big to really kind of vlog with and it takes tapes and it's really too much for me to use. So I think I don't really want to use that camera because it's not worth what I think I'm trying to do really quick and easy and fast and get in and get out. Um, and since it takes tapes, I don't want to have to buy a whole bunch of tapes just to really get what I need out of it. Even though it's the most reliable, uh, it, it, it shoots at 60 frames per second, um, which is the highest. And this only shoots at 24. So if I want to do anything slow motion, which you've seen, it stutters. It's going to stutter, it's going to jitter, it's going to get real ugly and funky and everything like that. But if you don't care about that type of stuff, then I guess, you know, hey, go with what you have. But this is not bad. Mostly I use it for pictures. Um, the other thing I don't like about it is when it, when you, whenever you're trying to do something like that, or you're just trying to move real quick or whatever, and, and you move too fast, it does that weird warping thing. I know a lot of other um, DSLRs have that issue. You can't move too fast or you'll get that weird warp effect and it looks ugly, right? Uh, pro cams or such as the camera that I have, the other one that I have, it doesn't do that. I could shake up and down and move back and forth real fast and it's steady every single time. The Canon 80D I found, also you could move and spin pretty fast and you won't have that weird warp, which is why the next camera that I get will be a Canon. Um, I'm not sure if the other Canons, the lesser Canons do that or not, but I know the Canon 80D for sure. Definitely, I could spin around and zoom in and zoom out and not have any issues with anything happening. Not that weird warp stuff won't happen. So it's not about what you have and having to have the latest stuff to get the point across. It's really about knowing what you have and knowing how to use it at your best ability. I will keep this, I'm not throwing it away. Um, I could get into the specs and the depths of it really deeply, but I don't think I will at this point. Um, maybe when I get the other camera, I'll even have a comparison and show you some things. Um, maybe not the most best for profiles as far as logs and S logs and B logs and things of that nature. Um, but there's a way around it. Um, what I do is I could put it into neutral in the settings in the, in the back of the camera in the menu and the neutral will really kind of flatten it and really give it a flat look, the flattest look it could give. And then I could boost it up in um, Premiere later on. Um, but for the most part, it is what it is. And it gets me what I need to get in times of emergencies. Um, I can show you a few pictures that I've used and done, color corrected, not bad. I can't complain, I like it. It works when I need it to work. And when I don't need it to work, I and I don't think it will work, I'm gonna go to something else. But anyway, this is the last time you'll see us or see me in this place here. Um, until the next time, I'm not sure if my internet will be up, but you will see me in a newer place, probably a little bit more convoluted because it's gonna take me a month to actually get that place all together. Anyway, thanks for coming and we'll see you in the next place and things will actually take off.